Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla 3D. In this tutorial, we're going over the essential part of Java, which is classes. Classes are what create all the objects that are ran in Java. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and walk you through how to create a new class within the NetBeans for Java. So, we're going to you right click on the package of Hello World that we created in our first tutorial, and we do new Java class. We're going to name this new class player and just click finish. And then it gives us a basic skeleton in, um, saying it belongs to the package hello world and gives us public class player and then it gives us this where it says public player. Um, this function right here is basically the constructor. I'll go over that in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and add some variables to our player. There's three ways to define how you want your variable to be. There's public. I spelled that wrong. Then there's private. And then there's one more, which is not, which you don't type anything for. It's just by default. Um, I'll go over that one later. But for right now, we're just going to learn public and private. So public allows you to access this variable outside the class. If you don't know what that means, I'll show you right now. So we're going to give, we're going to say public string username, and then we're going to say private um, string and say password. Now, when we go to our main class and we actually create our our player from that class player so say p1 equals and when we create a new class we just type in new and retype the class name and add brackets to it this analyzes or creates the object so now if we type p1 dot it give us the functions that are already built in and the variables that are accessible and as you see um, passwords not in there the reason why password is not in there is because it's set to private and username set to public. So we can assign and gather username anywhere we want outside the class. But if we wanted to get the, the password, we'd have to have to create a new function to pass that password to us. So let's say public and to define a function within the class you put um, whatever is going to call actually this is spelled with a lowercase, it should be a higher case so public and this is going to return a string so we type in public string and get password we add brackets and occur the brackets and we do return and we simply type password. So now we can't access password directly, but we can still access it within a function outside the, um, the class. So we type p1.password. I mean, there's this right here, get password. Now, um, let's say for each player we wanted to find the username before we do anything else. That's defined within the constructor. So let's go back to our player class. And where I said this was the constructor, we add, it's just like a function, we're going to add some input to there. So we're going to say that in order to create this class, you require a string. It's going to be name. And then we assign the name to username. So we go ahead and say username equals name. And we go back to our main class, and now we say, um, and right where our brackets were, we type in Bobby, which will be the name of our player. So now we have our constructor, which runs the name through there and assigns it to the username. So we do system dot out dot um, print line. And we do p1 dot username um, and then we go ahead and comp 
compile it and run it. And it should output Bobby. And there you go, it ran Bobby. Now let's say um, we want to uh, assign the password. We can't directly access it, so again, go to your player and we create another function um, public string, or actually it won't return anything, so it'll be void since we're setting a uh, variable. Let's type in set password, then we do string, which is defined as what we want the input to be, and you just do password and have our brackets, then we do password equals password. And that's all. So let's go ahead and go back to our main class. And we do p1 dot set password. And we go ahead and type it in. So let's say one, two, three. Alright, and we can just go ahead and do get password instead. So now if we run it, it's going to say our password is 123 for the player Bobby. So it runs and it outputs 123. That's the basics of a class in Java.